In this section, we're going to start our work with perimeter and circumference. And you'll notice that the problems that we work here are taken from a couple of different video lessons. And so the problem numbers that you see on the video lesson aren't necessarily going to match the problem numbers on the screen. But don't let that stand in your way. We've had to compile these videos from a couple of different places. So I hope that won't bother you. Let's take a look at our first problem. Let's look at a problem that involves a little geometry. We want to find the perimeter. And I've drawn this little figure right here. The perimeter is, a dis is the distance all the way around the outside. So I want to add the lengths of all these sides. Well, you see, I don't have the length of this side, and I don't have the length of this side. But isn't it true that if I took this and moved it up right here, that this total distance here would have to be the same as this distance right here? And likewise, if I took this line segment here and moved it out to here, wouldn't this distance have to be the same as this distance? So because of that, the perimeter is going to be 18 plus 20 plus this distance right here, which is this plus this, which is going to be the same as this, 18, plus this distance right here plus this, which is the same as this distance, or 20. So if I add these numbers up, I'm going to have 18 plus 20, which is 38, plus 18 plus 20, which is 38. I'll add 8 and 8 and get 16, carry the 1, 3 and 3 is 6, and 1 is 7. So 76 inches is the perimeter of this figure right here. And I found it by doing a little reasoning here, saying that this, the perimeter of this figure is essentially the same as the perimeter of this figure right here. That is, if I move this up, it'll be the same as this. And if I take this and move it over, it'll be the same as this line segment and this. And this have the same length, as do this and this. So there's a look at uh, some problems that involve addition with whole numbers. For our second problem, we want to find the circumference of a circle. And to do that, we're going to use the formula circumference is equal to 2 times pi times the radius. And we're going to use 3.14 for pi. Let's take a look at this problem. Let's go to the board now and work our first problem. Let's find the circumference in the area of this circle. And it has a radius of 4 inches. So the circumference of this circle is going to be c equals 2 pi r from our formula. Now pi is 3.14 and r is equal to 4, so I have c is equal to 2 times 3.14 times 4. Now you know that multiplication is commutative, so I can multiply 2 times 4 and get 8 times 3.14. So I'll do that multiplication here, 8 times 3.14, let's see, 8 times 4 is 32, 8, 9, 10, 11, 24 and 1 is 25. So I end up with 25.12, because I had two digits to the right of the decimal point here, so I need that many in the answer. So that's the circumference, and that, those units are in inches. So the circumference is 25.12 inches for this circle right here.